Let's jump to the war here with part 12 of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Empire of Jerusalem, or uh, Derethel Dynasty. Alright, so I've tidied up a bit of this, haven't done all of it, because there's still a lot of revoking that needs to be done. There's a lot of Muslim lords out here that need to be revoked of their titles, because they're just, they're not going to be loyal to me, or whoever I uh, transfer their vassalage to. So better just to get rid of them now. Um... So they don't cause problems, at least on the count level. Um, this is going to be a, this is going to take a little while to fix all this up because, I mean, there's three territories here that I want to keep. Okay, so these ones here, we want to keep that. You're revoked because he's a Sunni. Yep, and we want to keep the ones here, but the. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we just need to revoke. Now, what I might do is get one of my other territories, this one here, which I was just holding on to because what the hell. It's not important. This should go to whoever's in control of Gerard, which is Egypt. So what's that country, county called? It's uh, Gabies, okay. so many things right now. There it is. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna take a while to sort all this out, that's for sure. I've already spent like 10 minutes sorting it out and seeing where it should go. I don't want to just be like, blanket, plop, plop it down and whatever. This needs to be thought out carefully. So, this guy here, he's pretty happy with us. He's angry for not being in the vast, uh, uh, in the council, but it's fine. You know what, I will give him that position. It's good to keep him under control. And so he's the king of Al Jazeera. Yeah, he's gonna love me forever. But you just stay there for the time being and help me out. Ah, uh, that's yeah, okay. Got a lot of minor holdings as well. Baronies. Okay, so this one here, what are we doing with this? Okay, this is not something that we want to hold. But what I'll do is I'll revoke these titles first. Otherwise, I'm giving our kinsmen problems. And a whole bunch of revokes are coming through now. Okay, so I've got the whole thing under control there. Okay, now I can grant him the entire county and he can just sort it out himself. So that's Luristan. Cool, that takes me down a fair bit. Still got a lot of things to do. If we look... Oh, it's all terrestrial. Um. Yeah, I sorted that out there. This one here, he's got to go. Same with you, you gotta go. We don't have to worry about what the Sunni vassals think of us because they're just gonna get, they're just removed anyway. This game definitely promotes racism. Because <laughs> it's just like, you just you can't justify having them there, you really can't. So just get these titles out of their hands and into our vassals. This guy here. Right. So that's actually Egypt right there. Okay, interesting to note. Um, see, I want to be tidying up this area in terms of border gore. This here, I don't think can be transferred directly to Al Jazeera. I'm the king of Syria, aren't I? I'm pretty sure I am. Hang on, this, this, what duchy is this part of? Right. 
Pope won't accept it. Alright, just let it be for the time being. Okay, let's move forward a little bit more. There's still a lot of Muslim lords out here that need to be removed. Not killing them, we're just, you know, just get them out of here. Oh, now, Holy Wars would have done it for us, but it was an invasion, so... And it was a hell of an invasion, that's for sure. Okay. But yeah, I need to make sure that I'm sitting on the trade routes. Alright, so... This here can be given... Sus. Can be given over to my kinsman over here. Where's done with Sus. It is. Could get me down a little bit. And why can I not revoke your titles? Because... Have. This guy has got two duchies. Yazidi. I'll be taking that off you, please. Now, this region here. Yeah, that's that's nothing. But we've still got uh, Muslim lords in here. So they gotta go. Have I already done this? Yeah, revoke his title. At least, at least most of them. Doesn't matter if not every single one of them. But just enough to make sure that the stability in the area is maintained. I mean, I'm sure he'll be revoking whatever I miss anyway. But we're French Catholic. The last thing we want are Muslim uh, vassals. We, we just don't want them. Did I already do? Okay, let's keep moving on. I've got way too much in my domain. I know that. But, you know, there's no threat of, of revolt right now. If we have a look at what the problem causes, because of large domain... Where is it? He doesn't even care. I guess it just hasn't come into effect yet, because it, it hasn't been that long. one as well here. We don't want that. So yeah, we're trying to hold on to the uh, the ones that sit on the tr on the uh, the Silk Road on the actual trade trade routes. So yeah, all of all of my Muslim vassals would hate me by now, but they they don't have any power really, so it doesn't matter. You guys lost the war, so you get the hell out of here. You can go back to Persia. Well, actually, sorry, I meant you can go back to Seljuks. You can go go play in Afghanistan. Or whatever. Okay. See how tidy it is out here? Although, if we have a look here, there might still be some Muslim laws. No, it seems for the most part they're gone. You can just tell based on whether or not it's a uh, hexagon or a, a shield. So yeah, a shield, you know it's a Christian. Hexagon, you know it's a a Muslim lord. Okay, so we got all of it from this one here. Uh, yet we don't want Avaz. Avaz will be handed over to you. To govern in my name. So looking for... Uh, County of Avaz. Where is it? I must have looked over it. There it is. And taking all of the titles with it. Good. 
so he'll he'll divvy it up as he sees fit. Okay, also we've got Koz's Stan. That needs to be sorted out. Koz's Stan. Where is that? There it is. So Basra, abs oh hang on, no that's that's independent, that's the Bakhtashi order. Yeah, they're, that, those two are mine. You can see where the trade ports are based on, or trade trade zones. One, if I just click this it's easy to find it, but also just do this little market icon. So that one there, we're keeping this, keeping these, so just create new vassals, new minor lords, it's fine. And then there was one... Where's the other one? I think it's here. Yeah. And there's still a few of these Muslim lords here that have to go. Nothing personal, dudes. Nothing personal. It's just, it's for the good of my realm. But it's not even just a case of them even converting. They gotta be French as well. We, we want... Not only do I want to make sure that my vassals, my direct vassals, don't betray me, but I also need to make sure that my vassals' vassals don't betray them. If I place someone as a king, I demand that their vassals stay loyal to them. So I'm not just going to give them a shithole to look after, I'm going to make sure it's as sorted out as possible. Not seeing any Muslim lords left as counts. Okay, this one here, we don't want that one, do we? No. This is ready to hand over Kurdistan. There it is. Good. We are not done here yet. Because, yeah, if I just handed him all of these territories, he may have had a revolt on his head, and I may end up with a friggin' king. Uh, a Muslim king under my, um, control, which would be annoying. So let's just get rid of these guys now, before they cause my vassals any trouble, and by extension, cause me trouble. Gotta go. See, there's a lot of them. Ah, I've already handed that one over. Alright, so... We can upgrade one of these. What do I need most? Probably just noble customs. We want to really keep our kings under control now that I've more or less passed all the laws I need to. That's, no, I don't want to change that. I'm happy to leave them with external. Um, we can start improving the rights of women, which I will do, but it's sort of like a low priority for me right now. There's other things I want to do first. Um, shifted towards them providing me with more troops. Because we really don't need more cash. Yeah, I'm making, actually, we're not making any money at the moment because we're sorting this out. Yeah, council's already been sorted. I mean, if we want more cash... So they currently pay me 20%. I think I'll just leave that for the time being. Alright, Hamadan is sorted and can be passed over to you now. Okay, we're almost sorted here. He's still considering. You don't have a choice, dude. You have to give it up. Oh. You went under my radar. Oh, give it up. It's 
still a lot of revoking that needs to be done. So many Muslim lords here. Gotta, gotta get rid of them. <laughs> Sometimes I worry, like, doing this stuff, like, oh, he's a racist. It's like, I'm just playing the fucking game. Just playing the game. Give me a break. Bektar shield is here. If I have a look at the Bektashi order. They've only got three holdings. Oh, no, wait, 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 they got more than that. One, two, three, four, five. Because if we could... I don't know if they're the ones that just keep providing extra hired units for for the Seljuks, but if we could if we could knock them down to nothing, maybe they'll disband. Should be good. It's all got to go. Hmm. Just, just go with the minor one. Okay, uh, Jabal Kufs is done. Oh, that's me, whoops. It's like, why can't I give you titles? Because I already own the titles that I can give myself. Uh, Jabal Kuf. Did I already go through it? There it is. Gotta get done. Cool. So it's obviously, yeah, it's gonna take a little while to get this sorted, but soon enough the, the border gore will, will sort itself out and then that'll just be the end of it. So if we have a look at it at the moment, we are not really making a lot of money from the trade posts. Why, though? It's probably just due to my domain limit just being completely overblown. Or has it got anything to do with this? Yeah, there's a great famine. Okay, that's why we're not making any money from the trade route. Alright. Oh, I might war with someone. Peasant revolt. What is Al Jazeera doing down here? But still, I'll take that. I'll take that. Here comes the border gore. We done here? Almost. Poke it. Still got a bit of work to do here. Can't revoke this until 15th of Feb next year. It's not that far away. I don't know why. Okay, that'll sort them out. Okay, this one's done. Mafaza. You get Mafaza now. Where is it? Now, this will definitely make Al Jazeera my most powerful vassal. That's without a doubt. Okay, Ishtakhir, or whatever, that one can go to you. Alright, good stuff. And, let's see here, that one goes to me. So, we create new vassals there and hold on to it. Not done here yet. Ah, uh, belongs to the Bektashi order. I can't take that. See, some of these barons are 
own multiple titles, so I can only take it one at a time from the Barons. Okay, this one here is not one of the trade posts, so this can be handed over to Al Jazeera. This is Arajan. Alright, grant letter title of Arajan. There you go. Now, this is mine. Yazd. Yazd can be handed over now. It's been purged. There's a Christian already there. That's fine. What about this one here? Yeah, not until 20th of January for some reason. Maybe because I've already revoked too many things. Okay, at Ray here. That one's sorted, so we can hand that over. There it is. And this one here is also done. Zanjan Abhar. Okay, good, I'm down to 22. This, we're getting there, getting there. Still got a few more revokes to be done. Okay, data is done. Because uh, I can't revoke those titles. They're not my vassals. What was it called again? It was called... Uh, Don't expect me to pronounce all these ones. There it is. And uh, Hestern is sorted as well, because that's a, a Christian lord there. Great land title of, um, what's it called? Dahestan. D dash, dash to Stan. Okay. Okay, since that takes ages, let's just hand this over and he can just deal with it. It's only one guy. Um, no, wrong way. Alright, what's left? I think that's it. We can see the based on the black lines around the trade posts. I have handed over everything now. So, I still am over my limit by one. So we have to give something away that I perhaps don't need. I don't need this. I was going to revoke this title here to hand. Yeah, okay, let's do that now. It's supposed to be in in their hands. No, 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 no! I don't want you creating new titles, dipshit. All right, and then hand that over here. Mazab and include lower titles, you get everything. Cool. And now I'm back down to 10 out of 10. Ascalon Tabristan. How the hell did I get a hold of this? Well, I'll give you that anyway. There was one more there. Dehistan. How the hell did we get a hold of this? And then I should just have two. No, just one. Just ask along. Because we still, I'm still trying to work out how to get to this. I don't, I don't think I can, but I'm still trying to figure it out. to replenish our numbers with the retinue. Somebody else declared a war. Is that it there? 
Ooh, he's getting even more powerful. No, no, not you. Damn it. So let's see about making these lands slightly better. Oh shit, I didn't read that. I gotta stop this and enter. Gotta use that mouse click. Okay, since construction is pretty much already done, just requires 100 points, I'm gonna do that. We've got an heir, right? Oh yeah, we've got two heirs, because our king is gay. But yeah, separate wards, extra disease resistance, just in case. The last thing we want is a disease to get through and hurt our direct family. Not a good idea. But right now, we have, from our vassals alone, 52,000 men. And of course, we're still going to deal with the Aztecs. We won that crusade, but it'll be a while before we do another crusade. And looking at them... They've still got 87,000 men at their disposal, but the event spawn troops are more or less gone. I still can't believe the Mongols haven't shown up yet. They're supposed to... They're supposed to show up at some point. So he's got two kingdoms titles, has he? Kingdom of Iraq. No, he's got three, four kingdom titles. Well, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Okay, we have a Byzantine revolt here. We can grab the de jure claim on Antioch, and that'll go to me, and that's another trade post, I believe. It is, yeah. It's owned by the Byzantine Revolt. We'd easily win it, so why not? It's more money, even though, you know, there's great famine, but once the silk trade opens up again, that'll be good. And nobody's gonna have anything to say about this. Damn. I wonder if they even need any more troops. Well, let's get Egypt over here. Yeah, I think this should be sufficient. Damn, I've gotten powerful. I think we're almost at the end of the campaign. Why is it there? It is, we're getting to the point where it's pretty much pointless. But I really want to see the Mongols show up and I want to stomp them one. Now, funny thing is, is that we would have really had some hard times with the, uh, with the Aztecs had they shown up in my lands, but they didn't. We could put him in jail. Yeah, not a good idea. Alright, you can actually get there, we've got the supplies for it. Oh wait, supply, it's uh, holdings a high level. Alright, don't worry about it. Just start, start sieging. So what's Al Jazeera fighting? Attacking the Bektashi Jazeera war over Duraj Bird. Durbed. Good, anything you do to weaken them, great. How you going, you winning? Yeah, you seem to be winning, good. What's going on here? Ah, oh, right. Okay, never mind. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind giving this over to Egypt.
I know that's that's twice I've done that, so it's a minus 30 penalty. However, with Al Jazeera well under our control for a long time, we should be fine. So I'm going to grant you the Duchy of, of Ultra Jordan, along with everything that goes with it. I'm going to transfer this guy back into you. Manapuri, or whatever it is. There it is. Okay, disease coming through, but we currently have 70% resistance. Oh, there's another one. For 50% disease resistance. Construction level 6. I didn't know there was a, a tier 5. Good, I guess. 50% disease resistance. We're currently at 70%, so that would mean 120% disease resistance. So what does that mean? Immunity to disease? Which, don't get me wrong, I'm fine with that. Man, this is this disease is hitting hard and fast. What is it? It's just consumption. Black Death will be coming in fairly soon as well. That's gonna fucking suck. Better get as many of these places ready for it. I don't want to owe anyone a favor. I've already made that mistake. I can change my laws. Done. Oh, I got the duchy. Oh, because they did. I was right. Oops. Duchy of Antioch. I only want the county of Antioch. I know it's going to be minus fifteen. That means minus forty-five in total, but. My two most powerful vassals love me, so too bad. I want it because I want that trade post. There we go. So that means I have 11 trade posts now. But I'm over my limits, so that two of my cities don't have trade posts. I just gotta find which ones they are. This one does, but it's a different type of trade post. I'm gonna hand it over to Egypt now. So that's Trip, uh, Lepsis Magna. No, Trip. Tripolitana. Okay. You can have that. There we go. Actually, stay doing this. This will save. Oh, we don't need to save money. Too bad we don't. Saves us a bit of cash, but not that, not that it really matters. That's how much money we're making while they've got a great famine. I guess. And yeah. You could send your priests to go and try to convert the regions, but it's based off dice rolls, and it just gets done anyway. See, there's barely any Sunni stuff. Even, oh yeah, even, even in Persia here, we've already started converting. It'll, it'll get done. Oh, I'd actually like you to stop doing that.
Emperor Rouge, the Sword of Jesus. Okay, so we got a problem over here. Uh, you, which is our kinsman. I need to make sure he's got. This is a pretty big revolt. I'll try to make it stop. He's got two revolts on his ass. I want you. Peace with Maghreb. Yep, please. Same with you. Peace. There's a favor. I don't want to owe you a favor. No. Yeah, I'll pay off some debt. That's easy. Okay. Now he should be able to handle that, no problem. Pretty sure I gave out the Kingdom of Arabia somewhere. I don't even know where it's gone. Where's your primary title? Oh, he's he's fucking got it. He's right, right. Whatever. No, not Mumsy dearie. She died of cancer. All right, we need an apprentice. And we need a regent. Regent should be the wife. Uh, easier to just do it this way. Hasn't hit Jerusalem yet. Very good. Let's try to improve Jaffa so it doesn't hit that either. I mean, it's, it's already hit it, but you know, in future. Just about finished. I'll improve my realm. So yeah, we don't want a repeat of what happened at Mecca and getting a trade post destroyed. So all of our regions must be as fortified as possible. Including the ones that we may not necessarily own, like these here. So that's still going. News from across the sea. Rumors have reached Europe of a titanic struggle taking place across the Great Sea in the homelands of the Aztecs. The Aztecs themselves rarely discuss it with outsiders, but it appears they have been locked in a deadly war for some time with the... Oh my god. The Tawantasuyu, a great empire from the mountains and jungles far to the south of Tenochtitlan. Uh, they are ruled by Sapa in Inca, who is allegedly a direct descendant of some kind of sun god. If the stories are to be are to be believed, uh, the warriors of the Inca are armed with mysterious thunder sticks capable of felling a man from a great distance. The as fucking guns, as if uh, the Aztecs have only recently been able to halt their advance in large part thanks to their mounted warriors running. Stupid history. As if they would have ever invented guns. They didn't even have. They, they didn't even have steel. <laughs> Yeah, don't haven't inv haven't yet in, uh, entered the Iron Age. Uh, let's uh, let's just skip all those ages and just go straight to uh, gunpowder, shall we? 
It's like if today we encountered a, a, a race that had access to space travel, but had no idea what a fucking computer was. You know? It's just, you know, you kind of need one to get to the other. So, oh yeah, we've got these hyperdrives here. They're pretty fucking good. We just travel over to Alpha Centauri all the time. Yeah, you want to play some games? Oh, that's a fucking computer. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's just, biz it's just bizarre. Um, sure, I got money. Or, or even more bizarre, I haven't invented, like, the steam engine. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I hear that these, uh, these Incas across the uh, sea, uh, they've got guns. They've, in they've uh, somehow managed to, you know, mix... I don't know what the ingredients are for gunpowder, uh, personally. It looks like saltpeter whatever other things I guess you could I guess you could technically have guns without having steel kind of don't need this region anymore who's the duke here so it belongs to Al Jazeera now I'll hold on to it for the time being Oh wait, no, 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 that's Damascus, I need that. Fuck. Careful there. This stuff being converted. Now it says this is Ward. Ah, right. When he turns next year, we'll be able to introduce air to the realm. I haven't done that before. I'll be interested to see what it does. Uh, I'd prefer the stuff to get built faster. I got plenty of money. Money's money's good. So I don't need to worry about that. But even though, you know, the trade routes aren't exactly producing much at the moment. Yeah, it's not hitting Jerusalem. Three thousand troops I can get from my vassals. Sixty-three thousand. Nuts. What's going on here? You better not be losing. If I'm gonna grab you for a vault. Right, he's got a lot of troops. Shit. What happened to all your fucking forces? It says you've got a lot, but I don't see it. Seems like the Aztec Empire has consolidated some of its gains in Iberia. But yeah, we have, we've overtaken them. Their event spawn troops are more or less gone now. If we declared war on them, uh, no one would come to their aid, would they? Even though I've got a massive amount of threat. We could just, surely we could hold, yeah, we can hold war. What? Uh, are you fucking kidding me? No, don't, don't touch these invaders. Leave them alone. Oh my 
god, this guy got hungry as well. Yeah, they're Catholic, so... I guess no one cares. of Antioch. Uh-oh. Looks like I've got something. Alright, so the Duchy of Antioch. Wait, where is he? Right, he's, he's also got a barony. So a duke has a barony in here, right. Um, no, leave it be, just leave it be. That's enough to build for the time being, though. Let's introduce air to the realm. So what have I got here? I got gout, do I? Oh well. Just keep me alive for four more years. Well, I guess it's time to give up one of my other domain. No, that's mine. I've got one here. There's only one left that doesn't have a trade post on it. It's this one. I'm going to hand that over to Egypt. So, al Akbar or something. There you go. I'm going to transfer this vessel over to you as well. There you go. I do not want to owe you a favor. So, forget it. I won't have him undo laws, even though I could just replace it. I don't want him to. Oh, Aztec Revolt. Uh, let's see here. Huh. It's a Norman. Right, if I declare a holy war, can I? No. Because you're not. Yeah. So this is the thing, he hasn't he hasn't done what I did and gotten rid of all of the uh, the local cultures and religions like I did in Persia. And that's how Persia has been pretty stable. The fall of the Great Plains. The Aztecs have come to terms with their great fear of horses and several breeders have been established in the valley of the Anahuac in their homeland. This is precious little information from overseas, but what we what we can what can be pieced together, it seems, the, the Aztec have used their new cavalry regiments to great effect in finally pacifying their stubborn rivals in the northern plains. The Shoshone Dominions and the Sioux govern, 
Commonwealth have already been incorporated into their growing empire, and Aztec armies are now marching towards the last holdouts of the free Iroquois city-states on the Atlantic coast. It may only be a matter of time before the entire continent is ruled from the great imperial city of Tenochtitlan. Whatever. Bring it on, bitch. Sick trauma for illness. Not a big fan of the risky, risky one. Of course, it could cure him. I think as well, it's not necessarily because of our blood of Alexandros dying young, but young enough that that he's of age, so that we can keep doing invasions. That might actually be the best thing. Whilst it can also be good to have really old kings that have been on the throne for ages. You know, we've got to think about expansion as well. Alright, let's have a look at the ledger now and see how we compare to the others. Militarily, we have 100,000. So the Aztecs are now number two. Holy Roman Empire falling behind at 51. Aztec Revolt, Byzantine Empire, yeah, they've fallen way behind now. The Islamic world is, is being left behind. Realm size, I am the largest, then the Holy Roman Empire. Aztecs all the way down here, but they've they've just they've got access to just more troops the kingdom of Navarra is mm, I'll, I'll just leave it for the time being Color was similar to ours. I was wondering if it got conquered, but no, that's not what happened. He shouldn't be ambitious because his brother needs to be ambitious. Wait, that was him. Wait, was it? Shit. Oh, whatever. I screwed up there. building it up 6.5 there but the more we build it up the longer it will take to siege so that would be good need to be protected I can't have a repeat of what happened at Mecca ever again it was a wake-up call all right this guy here's just got one county I think I'm gonna hand him over to Jerusalem um, to Egypt what's his name to book Oh shit, what is this anyway? Claim on Maghreb, no. No, 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 no. This guy is not. Like, alright, we gotta put a stop to this. Can I not? Ah, oh, shit. Has it been five years? 
No, it hasn't. I was gonna get him Tunis. You gotta win this, dude. Why aren't you hiring all the troops you can? Because you're broke. Here, let me send you a gift. Should have done the whole favor thing. I'm just surprised they were able to get so many troops with so few regions under their control. If you keep the status quo going and just just not allow them to win, you should be able to eventually beat them just because he'll, he'll gain his troops back. Ah, oh, damn. He's probably going to lose this war. Oh, hang on. You're actually winning the battle. Good. That's a surprise. Good, that might actually turn things around for you. So what's going on here? You're fighting. You're attacking them in a holy war for Canem. But you don't seem to be doing very well. Still want that delicious technology from Constantinople. Keep it coming. Alright, we can get ourselves another 10 retinue. Can't get another 10 though. So, okay. Got the money for it. It's fine. Happy to spend it. Doesn't do me any good in the bank. You know, at least this much. I don't. I usually like to keep about maybe 10, 20 grand in the bank for an emergency in case someone calls an invasion on me. I just hire a whole heap of mercenaries. How's that famine coming along? So yeah, I'm not going to call upon any more um, artifacts. We're going to... But then again, do I... I don't really need them to, like, shatter the Seljuks, either. And the thing is, if they ever get overthrown and the Song Empire changes to someone else, then I lose all of our grace with it, which we've got a considerable amount. Always part of the risk. Although I think the Song Empire have been there for a while now. Don't upgrade camel riding. Even with the Great Famine, which is. How much is it? Was it 75? Yeah, 75% reduced uh, trade. We still make just ass loads of money through trade. That's only one quarter of what it should be. So that's made me stressed, but we want our son to be good. Because I just might freaking commit suicide or something. I don't know.
Well, we'll see. Not attend. No, I don't really need to do any more of that. I mean, we're we're pretty high up on the um, on the ranking with this. For anything else. And the Aztecs are getting weaker. But despite all that threat, people are still willing to jump in and help them. Right, our threat took a jump up. It might have been because they captured this. Okay, the the war is over and you managed to win it. That's good. What's what's this? Lack of funds. Yeah, I'll get you out of that. Just waiting for that minus sixty. To, yeah, it's gone. Okay, cool. Here you go. Look at that tidy border gaulless territory right there. No border gaul. I was kind of hoping to get depressed so that I could commit suicide as soon as my air comes of age. Time of pretty extravagant spending. Oh, whatever. Okay, he's not the heir, but we should obviously look after him. Food poisoning, that's not good. Severe illness. Ugh. Oh, just get through it, lad. You'll be fine. Hopefully. <sighs> What's next? I mean, without the invasion cast of Spelly, there's not a whole lot more I can do in my entire lifetime. Maybe the Eldricks. But unfortunately, everyone's got something to say about that, so yeah, that's not going to happen. We just got to wait for that threat to go down. Good, the Great Famine is over, and now let the trade pour in. 
173 a month. It should it should increase more because don't forget we we accumulated four new trade trade zones. There was three in Persia and then there was one in Antioch. But this actually might be slowing it down a fair bit. There's conflict downstream. Or upstream, I should say. So you become a tough soldier. Yeah, I'll deal with it personally. And if we die, so be it. Enter the camp and approach their leader. Fight the leader. 75% chance. What's the chances of death? Because I really don't care if we die. So what happened? Did we win? So we can now usurp the Sultanate of Persia. Um, if I don't do it, he might. Al Jazeera. Oh, okay. We can't do it now. But that is delicious. What shall I take for myself? Now, we also have to keep in mind that Al Jazeera is very powerful. So if we're going to add more territory to them, that we just need to make sure he's kept under control. Uh, Alright, let's look for who to talk to. No one's going to get in our way. There's Bahrain. We can try and kick him out of Arabia once and for all. Or we can push our way into India to secure the Silk Road even more. There's still more trade routes down here that we could we could gather. We could... No, no, that's still belongs to them. It's a decent chunk of territory there. And further, that, that's a... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's pretty big. I'm leaning towards this so that we can border somebody else. Because it does make our empire really wide. Let me just check. Is this the entire Duchy of Al Bahrain? It is not. Is this the entire Duchy of Makran? It is. Alright then. So be it. Let's do that then. Now, calling upon you by yourself, 20,000 men. Okay, we can call in Egypt slash... Yeah, I'll command an army now. Do I need any more? Uh, isn't Nubia around here somewhere? Yeah, there's Nubia. Bring it, but it's not much. Yeah, I was like, I wouldn't mind you coming into assist as well. You got a lot of troops, and I haven't called you in in a while, and I did help you out. Okay, can land over here. He's got a bit of a walk to do, but that's okay.
Should be pretty chill. It's just me versus him. If you have a look at how strong he is. Oh shit. Okay, disband. I'll just, I'll just teleport him somewhere else. Whoop. Thirty-nine years old, but yeah, but we're ready to die to so let him have a go. How many more uh, vassal troops could I possibly get? Uh, there's also the Holy Order. It's a nice Templar. Might as well. Get these two over here. Start ripping up the storm up this way. So yeah, we've got to ask ourselves now whether or not it's whether or not we should be handing this territory over to Al Jazeera. I think I've got what four or five kings. I probably would hand it over to them. Yeah, I'd much rather have like just four or five really really powerful lords that I just have to juggle. as opposed to lots and lots of minor kings. Because I can also use my Chancellor to improve my relationship with my most powerful vassal. Don't need to do that right now, because he's massively in our favor. Another thing with having... I was just thinking as well, why don't I hand this over to Maghreb? Because that way I could call these troops over here really quickly. That actually might be better. I mean, we'll be creating border gore, but that happens anyway. Shit, 15% attrition. That's not good. Let's hurry this up. Pretty expensive in terms of manpower, but it's okay. I just want this war over quickly before the revolt is over. They surrender. Good stuff. It's only vassal troops, so if I just disband them, they'll they'll regenerate really quickly, so it's okay. All right, so we've got this entire duchy here. That was super easy. It has to be usurped. All right, I'll. Like I said, I give it to my courier. Wait, no, no, what's his name again? Bagrep. Sorry. Oh, what about uh, what about Nobatia? These guys don't have that much to get. I think I'll give it to uh, Nobatia. Uh, Nubia, Nubia, that's it. 
Bloody hell. Um, wait, is there any trade routes here? No. No. Okay. Don't want to give anything away too valuable. So, Tiss is first. Saravan. That one's there. What's that? Um, our mail. Okay. There it is. Good. Bit of extra territory. Tipped us over to uh, above a thousand realm size. We're the first nation, probably since the Roman Empire, to have a thousand. Oh, not necessarily. The, uh, the Umayyad Caliphate at its peak would have been bigger than the Roman Empire. And it would have actually stretched from Iberia to Persia. It wouldn't have been this large. Because, yeah, just because you've got, like, more square kilometers doesn't mean you've got more realm size. Would I be larger than the Umayyad Cam Caliphate? Because there's also these things here we got to take into consideration. Because I know that the Umayyad Caliphate was pretty damn big at its peak. It didn't last very long. You know, at its full, full size. to get hurt. He's wounded. Why? He I... should be fine, but if he dies, I'd be very annoyed, to say the least. Actually, I might assemble a mercenary company with my youngest son when he comes of age. another revolt on you, but you've come of age now at least, age 16. Let's get you married. This is kind of the best I can do at the moment. going with this revolt. Doesn't look like you'll have too much trouble with it, so keep it up. Can usurp the kingdom of Egypt? I say just leave him be. Oh man, you're fucked. Still the Teutonic Order sit here, not being my vassal. His heir is Cuman. Of course they become German as soon as that happens. The power ranking hasn't increased. Yeah, I went straight to 100 because of that. But you know, it's a good chunk of territory, so, you know, that's fine. Okay, Aztec... Uh, that's fine.
Anything we do that we can the Aztecs would definitely be good. It's gonna take a while to get rid of them. I'm definitely leaning towards. Uh, what's it called? Down here. Uh, Iberia. Probably Beja would be our best choice for the time being. And we're already at 100, well, 99% threat, so this isn't going to do much to us. Let's just do it. So yeah, they recovered pretty quickly. Now yeah, we're going to have to move fast, so everyone has to be hired. You'll move in from there. Yeah, I could have just hired them there. Eh, that seems like a waste. Oh well. What, who, who are you attacking here? Ferrara's trade post? What? Why? We're not at war with Ferrara. Oh no, I don't get it. It, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, on the boat. And don't forget the Knights Templar. Go pick them up, because that's a hell of a lot of boats. These guys have got a bit of a walk. That's okay. Come back for the rest if we need to. Right, get moving. You go back to pick up the rest. And as usual, we don't send in our our um, retinue army. Why? It's uh, why 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 spend more money than we need to? Oh fuck, we got smashed. It's okay, I got more reinforcements coming. I'll do an experimental treatment. If I end up dead, what does it matter? It was successful, but you paid a heavy price. Cured of the disease, but became one-legged. And severely injured. So they're coming, but... This is this is sort of like a mistake on their behalf because I'm gonna pop in another twenty five thousand men. Well, I hope it's a mistake on their part. Still might end up losing that. All these fucking notifications. I'm focusing on the damn war. I don't care about who's ambitious and who's not. Yeah, we end up winning. Let's see if we 
I can pick up the rest of them. Huh, the rebellion's actually coming from a Muslim. As long as this rebellion doesn't end before we get to, I don't know, 80 odd percent, should be fine. Just gotta rush for war score now before the rebellion ends. God damn it, fucking get out of- oh, shit. 47,000 from the Aztec Revolt, holy shit. Get down to here, yeah, you start mo making your way down here. Do I even have that many men left available? I didn't realize they're gonna bring that much. Okay, just start withdrawing now. Yeah, not right now. We're in the middle of a war. Um, I think they can walk here by the time they get here. Damn, I didn't expect this rebellion to have this many troops. Okay, good. And you're gonna get caught again, are you? I've only got 40,000 men. Damn, I didn't expect them to have this much. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter that much if we lose the war. It isn't good, that's all. Are they coming or not? I don't know how they're managing to get so many troops. We have 63,000 from vassals. Wow. We're gonna have to wait until that passes. This is taking how much attrition? A hut. Mm. He's taking some. We'll we'll get some recovery and then we'll go back in there. But we need to wait for him to go down. That that army is too strong. And I don't want to bring in my retinue because I don't really care if I want to lose this uh, this war that much. Let's bring him in. What are we missing? Have we got everyone's forces? Bektashi order. Coming to help, whatever. Get all them. <laughs> Never should have made him a commander. He died in the dungeons. Well, guess what? We'll uh that's just the way it, that's just the way it is. He wasn't baptized by the Pope. That's unfortunate. It's kind of too late for him to have another son with her. Can't get a divorce. So yeah, we're recovering here pretty quickly. 
we got more men coming. How do we... No, oh, whatever. Sure. I mean, I got the money, but still, that's kind of annoying. Alright. Oops. When we look at this now, we have 60,000 men to their 52,000. That's just there, of course. He's got 62,000 men as well. What do the Aztecs have on their side? They're falling to pieces. If I land over here, I can only get 33,000 men there. But yeah, they're not like, taking much attrition at all. Let me try something. I'm gonna bring you over to Cadiz. I have an idea. He's going to stand there, and I expect he's either going to move into here, or there. Nope. Uh, and also, we don't have the supplies here. Only by a little bit. The attrition will be pretty minor. Just capture it real quick. Once he's got his organization organized, oh, he's coming. If we get there first, we'll be on the defense. Now nah, he's buggering off. All right. Might be a good an idea if we put a few generals in here. Okay, we don't really need to be here. Let's move on to the next load of settlements. It's good to see they're getting worn out. I don't know how I managed to get a bonus in battles. Maybe it's because of that big one. Six. Also six. Everything's 6.5 now. Could get a commander from China, but this is a pretty unimportant war. Alright, he's coming over here. Wait until he's locked. Try and defeat him out in the field. Yes, he should be ambitious. He's going to be king one day. Come on, win. Okay, that's good. That should help us win the battle, considering their commander was wounded. That <laughs> cat. Come on, do it. Ah, oh, you motherfuckers. God damn it. We didn't win any battles on equal terms. A shame, but not the end of the world. We're still winning the war, technically. And that's... Did that's not good. Now we're not winning it anymore. How did that happen? I guess they switched sides. Now we need to recover our, our losses a little bit. And it's over. Inconclusive. We didn't lose the war, but we didn't win it either. 
What did we lose in total? Just our son and heir. For nothing, basically. Oh well, it happens sometimes. Take risks, sometimes they don't pay off. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 13 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.